you will have to become someone you've never been before. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said. You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You get to redesign. You are your Michael. You are your greatest sculpture and you get to recarve and you get to up level as much as you need. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it. You get to choose as much as you want. You get to design it any way you choose. You're not sentenced to your future. You have an opportunity to your future. What do you want and how do you want it? And if it doesn't make you a little afraid, then you ain't playing big enough. Your knees are supposed to knock a little bit. Your teeth are supposed to chatter a little bit. There's supposed to be at least two butterflies in your stomach. At least. Because if not, you're playing inside your comfort zone. And we mistake the fact that we're supposed to be comfortable 24-7. Well, let me tell you something. Comfortable is equivalent to complacent. I came to challenge you to play in the biggest field you've ever played. I came for you to challenge the fear that might be inside of you and to redesign and reprogram it. You look at it long enough, you be with it intimately enough, and it has to dissipate. You are the designer of your destiny. You are the author of your autobiography. You write the story of your life. No one can write your financial story. No one can write your spiritual story. No one can write your emotional story but you. The pen has always been in your hand. The pen has always been in your hand. I say write a story that's gonna be damn good to read. And ask yourself, what's my dream? What are you willing to do that you've never done before? What are you willing to say that you've never said before? Are you willing? Are you willing to do that thing you've never done before? Are you willing to stand at the edge of your own greatness? Are you willing to look at your fears? Are you willing to recognize that you can be afraid? Are you willing to look at the fact that there is always healing to come? There's always growth to come. There's no arrival. Are you willing? And then in the space of that, are you still willing to lean to the edge? Feel the breeze. The possibility, not knowing if you will fly or fall. Are you willing? Are you willing to not quite know what's there, but that something is there is greater than you? Are you willing to say, my life has to make a huge difference? You've heard me say this before, that there's a birthday and a transition day, and in between that is all the opportunity in the world. That's that dash, that dash that says, are you willing to disrupt my life? You're not here, you're not put here to leave my life calm. You're here to be a disruption for my life. You're here to cause me to wanna be someone I've never been. It's gonna cost you more time than you thought you have. It's gonna cost you way more money than you thought you would invest. It's gonna cost you some friends who couldn't make the entire journey with you. It's gonna cost you that, that sense of, oh my God, I gotta leave, I gotta die to the old me to allow the new me to be born to my future. It's gonna cost you something. This is the year for reset. This is the year for restart. This is the year for reignite. This is the year for repeat the things that you love. This is the year for recommit. This is the year for redesign. This is the year for re-engage. This is the year for restart. This is that year. I stop by to ignite your fire. I stop by to have you confront fear. I stop by to have you look at what it's cost you and to make a bold declaration the next time it rise up, you rise up a little bit higher than it. I stop by for you to no longer make fear your enemy. I stop by to redefine fear.